Yeah, I can't get this. My armor broke a guy in yellow. You know what? I'm I'm glad I'm not gonna revive you later on this game. <laughs> on top of prison. Is out here? Gucci man. They're mid done. He's got your gun. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, there's, there's no one around. There's no one around. Because we, we have the we have the thing. Nice play. What's going on guys? Adigit here, back in with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be on the new gun, the H4 Blixen, and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite gun that they've ever released. It feels kind of like a pre-patched Owen gun, to be honest, and it just hits like a truck, which I'm a big fan of. It has a nice big mag, and as you can see, I've actually already got an Atomic on it. I got Atomic actually before I even unlocked the gun, which is funny, but that's besides the point. So today's video is going to be all centered around this, and I'm going to show you the, ca the class setup that I currently use in this video. And the gameplay after this intro, you are going to see uh, it's actually the standard space industry, but just for, for better loadouts and just, you know, better attachment purposes, I'm going to show you the class that I'm currently using right now pretty much every single day as like this is easily my favorite loadout I think I've gotten to run in the game period so far. So to start it off, you're going to start it with a recoil booster, that's self-explanatory, makes the gun shoot faster, pew pew pew, kill faster, it's simple, there's nothing else to run, there's no reason to run any other attachment on these SMGs to be honest. Next up is the Johnson 9-inch uh, RMK. This is my personal preference, I know a lot of people make uh, variants with this Bergstrom 17-inch uh, F3. Uh, you can really do either or, but it will change the build up. And what I think is personally the best buildup and does have the best time to kill is this 9-inch RMK. It gives uh, plus to damage and damage range. And while it does hurt your rec recoil control and accuracy and hipfire accuracy, it doesn't really matter. It also says it hurts headshot damage, which is really weird to me. But that actually won't matter and you'll see why a little later on. Next up, Optic. You already know. I run the slate. self-explanatory. You can do whatever you want. Um, just make sure you're pretty much running one of the 1.35 magnification ones, and you'll be golden. Next up for the stock, we got the Johnson Skeletal CR-10. I tried to run it with the remove stock, and I think you can get away with it, but I will say it kicks a little more than you think it would, and it's a little uncomfortable, but if you're good with recoil control, I would actually recommend running the remove stock. But if you want something that's going to give you a little more control and still give you that movement speed, because the stock does go with the Skeletal CR-10, I do think it is the better option. But if you want the ADS speed and the Sprint to Fire and even more mobility, you can definitely get away with remove stock. But personally, I'm going to choose a CR-10. 
Next up, under barrel. So while I said this gun does kick a lot, and it does, if you can just get past it and learn to, you know, pull down on whatever it is, your mouse, your controller, uh, then go with that SG-98 Compact. If you're still learning how to kind of control recoil, go with the hand stop. It's just that simple. You really, in my opinion, don't even need the hand stop. I think that this gun, it does, it kicks, when I say it kicks a lot, it probably kicks pretty hard for the first 10, 15 shots, and then after that, it's flat recoil. So if you can just get past that, which most of the time you'll kill the person before or even at that point, uh, then you'll be set. If you struggle with the recoil, go with the hand stop or maybe even the carver if you want to do a little re uh, hip fire action. But personally, I really think that this aim walking movement speed is so much more important if you're comfortable controlling recoil. Next up, ammunition. We're gonna go hollow point on this actually. I know I've been running subsonic for the most part, but because this gun actually has pretty decent range like the Owen gun did pre-patch, which the Owen gun still does, but this gun is like pre-patch range Owen gun, I'm gonna go with hollow point to get that limb damage. I think that does make the difference in a lot of gunfights, and it's essentially like a saving grace, you know, when you got your enemies just slide canceling, jumping around like a bunch of lunatics. Next up for grip, I actually run polymer. I know some people like to run uh, hatched on this for the horizontal recoil, which I don't even think it really has that much. So you could also probably run this if you're struggling with um, sprint to fire times to get away with it. So I'd say fabric grip then, or even really maybe groove grip, but groove grip doesn't actually help as much on this gun as other guns, which is very interesting, but it's just something to keep in mind or maybe even the rubber. But personally, as I've said, after further testing, I just feel like the polymer is just good for me and I really like its flinch resistance. Next up, kind of the final piece of this puzzle is the 54 round uh, Gorenko, which is, you know, pretty staple on most guns, you the Gorenko. But something that I've noticed is for whatever reason, while it always, it gives the normal benefits, you know, that recoil control and accuracy, aim down sight speed, bigger mag, but normally, where you would get a higher fire rate, you actually don't on this gun, and instead it gives you plus headshot damage, which essentially nullifies the barrel's minus headshot damage. Even then, if you want to get even weirder with this gun, the fastest time to kill I'm pretty sure you can make is if you run the 36 round Garenko Max. For whatever reason, they give increased torso damage, which is insane. I don't actually know the exact amount, so go check out like true game data to actually get those, but just Based on the testing I've done, it this gun melts with 36 rounds. It's not like Type 100 melty, but it's damn near close. But if you're playing quads, I highly recommend you go with the 54 round mags. It still melts and it just has an insane range, so it's super worth it. And those extra uh, 18 shots or so are just super duper worth it. Next up, perks. It's actually what the Space Industry Bundle comes with. Fleet. Fleet's a favorite of mine. I love Fleet. There's really no reason to run anything else. And then lastly, if you're leveling up the gun, run Surplus. If you need more ammo for some reason, run Fully Loaded. But honestly, the best choice per usual for submachine guns is quick. That's pretty much my favorite way to run this gun. It's honestly one of the best guns that I think I've ever gotten to use so far in Warzone, and it's easily one of my favorites. I figured I would go ahead and just show the sniper class that I'm using throughout this video as well. Uh, no surprise here, it's the same Car 98 build that everyone's been using. I went back to the Car 98 about a week ago, the Modern Warfare one, just to switch it up, and I forgot how good this gun is. I don't know why I'm even trying to run anything else, because this gun is just it's still the best. It's insane how good this gun is. But uh, anyway, as always, if y'all have been enjoying the content, don't forget to drop a like on the video to let me know that. And if you want to see more content like this, then uh, maybe hit the subscribe button. But as always, it's been Adjit, y'all. Enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, have a blessed day. Peace.
Ah, la Two up there. I need to get ammo already, sorry. There's two, maybe three. I got one down, the other one's on me right now. He's reviving his teammates at the top of the stairs. There's another one up there now. There's three. Bridge, 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 bridge. I need ammo. I finished that guy. Oh, nice. MP40. Hey, you want my type? You want my type? Yeah, no. sure. Oh, I'm getting fucked up for... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it over I've got a precision, one. I'm putting it on it. There's my type. Yeah, they're all busy. And then over by yellow. See him, right? They already look from rocks. What do they have? What the fuck is this? Why? Why are you even watch? Big blue. Down on top. I can't access this buy station. I'm jumping for it. I, I, not let them go. Yeah, I can't do this. Oh, there. Yeah, 
never mind, I love when you see this, right? They're in the yellow. Oh my god, it's a fucking riot shielder. I'm gonna need help. My armor broke a guy in yellow. Down one in there. That one's white. Down two. Nice riot shielder. Down riot shielder. I got peaked kind of close-ish. Like tower, I want to say. Nice. My gameplay. This reset slightly off. Yeah, well, that's what we try to do, but sometimes we just get. Yeah. Did any other, did anyone else break double digits or was it only me? I did not. Oh. I got eight. Shit. Oh, that was a fucking hard carry and a half.